Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. Feeling the craving for an ice cream sundae? Well, the universe might just have a cosmic version of that craving satisfying treat, served not in a bowl, but through a spectacular astronomical view. Meet the dazzling spectacle of Herbig Haro 49 by 50, an energetic outflow from a young, forming star nestled right in front of a distant, multicolored spiral galaxy. It's an awe-inspiring scene captured by none other than NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. In a new composite image created by combining data from the Mid-Infrared Instrument, or MIRI, and the Near-Infrared Camera, NIRCOM, we're able to explore this turbulent, frothy-looking outflow in stunning detail. Think of it as a swirl of cosmic color and light, frozen in space and time, yet bursting with motion and meaning. So, what exactly are we looking at? Herbig Haro objects, like HH49 by 50, are formed when jets of gas are ejected from a newly forming star. These powerful jets slam into surrounding clouds of gas and dust, heating the material and generating shock waves that stretch across light years. The glowing jets emit light in both visible and infrared wavelengths, and thanks to Webb's powerful vision, we can now see them like never before. In this image, Herbig Haro 49 by 50 is shown in all its chaotic beauty. The reddish-orange outflow structure reveals a complex ballet of motion and matter. You're looking at the raw, dynamic forces of star formation in action. As the jets from the young star crash into nearby material, they form what scientists call bow shocks, shaped like the waves that trail behind a speeding boat. And as luck would have it, this stunning foreground display is perfectly aligned with a serene, spiral galaxy in the distant background, giving us an almost surreal contrast between the near and the far. Each color in this web image tells a story. The blue regions represent light captured through the F200W filter. Cyan indicates the F335M wavelength. Green comes from the F444W filter, orange from F470N, and red from F770W. Together, they create a richly detailed mosaic that helps astronomers decode the physical conditions within these outflows like temperature, density, and chemical composition. Now, here's a twist. Back in 2006, this very same object was nicknamed the Cosmic Tornado when it was first seen by NASA's now-retired Spitzer Space Telescope. Its swirling, helical shape made it look like a space-born twister, spiraling through the cosmos. But there was a lingering mystery, a fuzzy object appeared to be clinging to the tip of this cosmic tornado. What was it? Webb, with its vastly superior resolution, has now solved that mystery. That fuzzy object? It's not part of the outflow at all. It's a completely separate entity, a distant spiral galaxy, perfectly lined up in our line of sight. This chance alignment has gifted us with one of the most visually captivating cosmic juxtapositions ever captured. But beyond the beauty lies the science. Studying HH49 by 50 has provided crucial insights into the early lives of low-mass stars, stars like our own Sun. These types of jets and outflows are a natural part of stellar infancy, helping to regulate the growth of the forming star and shape the environment around it. In this comparison, we get a stunning look at the HH49 by 50, an intriguing cosmic object captured in two different wavelengths by two of the most advanced space telescopes ever built. On the left, we see an image from NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope, utilizing its infrared array camera, while on the right, an image from the James Webb Space Telescope reveals this same object in exquisite detail using both the near-infrared camera NIRCOM and the mid-infrared instrument MIRI. The difference in these two images highlights the incredible advancements in infrared astronomy, allowing us to peer deeper into the cosmos than ever before. Now, what exactly are we looking at? The Webb Space Telescope's image uncovers the high-energy activity of the protostellar jet as it impacts the surrounding material. We can now observe finer details of the hot dust and gas that are ejected by the young star. Perhaps even more fascinating, Webb clarifies the fuzzy object situated at the tip of the outflow, revealing a distant spiral galaxy. This is no ordinary sight. It's a glimpse into the intricate dance between a young star and its environment, something that we could barely capture in the past. 
In the Spitzer image, the colors represent different wavelengths of light. The blue in the image corresponds to 3.6 micron light, green to 4.5 micron light, and red to 8.0 micron light. This particular view helps us trace the complex processes happening around this young star. The web image takes things a step further, offering a deeper perspective with its multi-wavelength approach. Blue in the web image corresponds to 2.0 micron light, cyan for 3.3 micron, green for 4.4 micron, orange for 4.7 micron, and red for 7.7 .7 micron light, each revealing different aspects of the gas, dust, and energetic phenomena occurring within the outflow. So, where exactly is HH49 by 50 located in our vast galaxy? It's nestled within the Chameleon I cloud complex, a region of active star formation that is one of the closest to our solar system. This area is bustling with the birth of low mass stars, much like our own sun. In fact, astronomers believe that this very cloud complex could be the birthplace of stars similar to ours, and perhaps even the very environment in which our sun formed billions of years ago. The HH49 by 50 outflow visible in these images is part of a much larger outflow. This enormous cloud of material is receding from us at remarkable speeds, ranging from 100 to 300 kilometers per second, that's about 60 to 190 miles per second. Such velocities reveal just how dynamic this region of space is, with material being violently pushed away from the site of star formation. But it's Webb's ability to probe smaller spatial scales that makes these observations truly groundbreaking. Through its detailed images, we can trace the path of energized dust grains, luminous hydrogen molecules, and carbon monoxide molecules, all of which are carried by the fast-moving protostellar jet as it slams into the surrounding material. This provides astronomers with a much clearer picture of how this jet is interacting with the surrounding gas and dust. Now let's zoom in a bit further and take a closer look at the origin of this powerful outflow. What's driving this remarkable activity? Scientists believe that the energy behind the HH49 by 50 jet is coming from a protostar known as Cedarblad 110 IRS4. This star, still in its early stages of development, lies about 1.5 light years from the outflow we see in the web image. It's located just off the bottom right corner of the frame. This protostar is in what's called the class 1 phase of its evolution, which means it's relatively young, only tens of thousands to a few million years old. Class 1 protostars, like Cedarblad 110 IRS4, are still gathering mass and often have surrounding disks of material that are slowly falling inward, feeding the developing star. Webb's instruments, NIRCOM and MIRI, have recently provided valuable insights into the chemical makeup of this protostar's icy surroundings, cataloging the composition of its material. These observations allow scientists to piece together the complex processes that are taking place as this young star grows and matures. Although these incredible in-depth images of the arcs in HH49 by 50, captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, offer a clearer view of the direction of the jet source, there's still a lot of mystery surrounding these structures. It's important to note that not all the arcs appear to point in the same direction. Take, for example, the peculiar outcrop feature located to the right of the main outflow. It's an interesting anomaly. Could it be the result of a distinct outflow, perhaps by chance? Or is it possible that this feature is linked to the intermittent jet source's slow precession, shifting over time? There's even the possibility that the main outflow could have broken away, which would offer another explanation for this strange feature. Moving further out in the distance, we also catch a glimpse of something else, a distant face on Spiral Galaxy. It's located right at the tip of HH49 by 50, and it's as if it's standing still in the background, like a faint, silent observer to the chaos of the outflows. This galaxy is around 625 million light years away and it's striking in its clarity. The blue bulge at its center is particularly noticeable, indicating the location of older stars. But there's more to this galaxy than meets the eye. As we look closely at the bulge, we can spot what's referred to as side lobes, which could point to it being a barred spiral galaxy, a fascinating characteristic, one that adds complexity to its structure. Now, if we focus on the spiral arms of this galaxy, we can see clusters of reddish material marking areas rich in hot dust and active star-forming regions. 
It's here in these dusty, vibrant arms that new stars are being born. And if we look even closer, we see evacuated bubbles, vast, hollow regions where the material has been cleared out by the intense energy from new stars. These bubbles, in fact, resemble the ones seen in galaxies that Webb has been studying as part of the FANGS program. What's truly remarkable here is that Webb has captured these two seemingly unrelated objects in the same frame, a stroke of luck in the vastness of space. While HH 49 by 50 is an object that will continue to expand over thousands of years, creating a spectacle that will eventually seem to engulf the distant galaxy, it's a dynamic interaction to witness from our vantage point. If you're craving more detail, you can actually explore this area in even greater depth. Picture yourself flying through it with a detailed visualization, comparing the stunning images captured by Webb with those from the Spitzer Space Telescope, offering a truly unique perspective on the cosmic landscape. And don't forget, all of this is happening in the Chameleon constellation, roughly 625 light years away from Earth. It's a reminder of how vast and interconnected the universe is, with mysteries waiting to be discovered around every corner. If you enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an adventure. Keep looking up and remember, the universe is waiting to be discovered. See you in the next video, right here on Space Verse.